Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's George again. Uh, today uh, I have a small job in Jilnam uh, which I think is worth uh, sharing with you. Uh, uh, what I have to connect to, to today is install uh, a thermostat. So what's a thermostat? Thermostat is a, it's actually a thermostat created uh, by a HMO landlord. It's, I think his name is uh, Andoni Cherry. And what actually happened, he, he was trying to find a way to reduce uh, uh, the money he was paying to uh, gas and electrics in HMOs, where most of the times are all inclusive. So he came out with this uh, really, really good stuff. So, I'll take it out. So it comes with a, a flat box and this uh, cover. And today I have to install a wireless one so that come in two pieces. Uh, this because we don't need it. So this is the actual uh, thermostat, the room thermostat. So it's one thing is also it's tamper proof. Uh, so I'll open you to see what see what's in there. So it has, oh, it has all the fixings and also has this small Allen key which you need for this screw under here and that's the whole point being uh, being tamper proof means that uh, the tenant has hasn't got any access on changing the changing the settings which I'll describe to you in a second. Uh, so you pre, so what you gonna do? I preset it, and then so here you open this with the batteries, and then you see those uh, small switches, which are actually um, you preloaded the settings you want, which as I say I will explain in a second, and then you put this up. So when you you set everything now that's been loaded so it's actually physically unless the user tool uh, it's physically impossible to mess with the settings and then they this is the uh, the receiver so that that's the actual thing that connects in the boiler and it connects actually like a, uh, a, all the usual uh, wireless thermostats so if you using the wired one you're gonna have only not exactly this one but it will look exactly like this and <clears throat> and literally just replacing your existing thermostat so it's very easy to to upgrade okay so with them in the box we have some little paper so it's all installation details as for the electrician. You always use a qualified electrician to do this, of course. Uh, there's a user's guide, another user's guide that stays actually. Uh, we leave this with it. And also at the back of this user guide has the how to preset the double uh, the switches. So you can have the um, uh, the preferred op settings. So I'll go quickly uh, the settings you can see. So the big thing with thermostat is that you can uh, preset how long the the heating will be on, so that it can be blocks of one, two, or three hours. And actually, what happens from from using those switches, uh, the tenant adds time, so it gets 30 minutes, then one hour, two hours, and three hours. The countdown starts, and from this side, uh, you they choose the, the the room thermostat, the preferred room thermostat, which uh, there are two options that so you can choose either to go up to 23 degrees Celsius or 28 and it won't go higher than this. I've been 
in student lets a lot of times and the thermostat was set up on like 35 it was impossible to work in there I was opening windows so I could breathe and so there is the other options are there has a, a, an anti frost setting which when the temperature drops uh, under 7 degrees Celsius it will uh, uh, it will turn on the heating so your pipes will, won't freeze uh, then the, it has also an option of a uh, minimum temperature to be set on 18 degrees so if the so that means if the temper the room temperature drops under 18 degrees the heating will go on or you can have no minimum temperature so it won't come out obviously then only the anti-frost setting will uh, turn it on and then you have another another setting that you could add two two blocks in in one day so you can have one block in the morning and one in the afternoon which can be one two or three hours and that actually will uh, say so if you have it, it works really well we have professionals and what actually will do uh, say like six o'clock in the morning will the heating will come on and then over or, or to seven or eight depends on the settings and then back again on 5 p.m. for another couple of hours uh, so that is the what is called the auto program drop mode and no, sorry, that's the auto program mode, and there is the, the auto program drop mode, which is actually what what it does. So if uh, no one touches the the timer start for 48 hours, it completely switches off. Uh, this way, you make sure. So if you have students in and they leave for Christmas, they go home and they leave the heating on, which is something very common. Uh, so that say it happened Friday by Sunday uh, the, the heating will be completely turned on until someone physically pressed the, one of the buttons on the thermostat and, and then there's a comfort warmth mode which is uh, keeps a, I think a, a temperature of uh, 18 if I remember correct uh, for eight hours uh, during the night, uh, which they uh, preset it. So that was it. So, guys, if you, it's a it's a great product. I have installed about twenty five of them the last three months here in, in Medway. Uh, lots of landlords they they start uh, installing them. Uh, it, it, it can save a lot of money on, on gas on the gas bill uh, so if I'll go in now to to connect it and guys if you know anyone that is a, a HMO land or uh, uh, run uh, a letting agent that has a lot of HMOs uh, please uh, send them to my way and my contact is a little bit down as usual and please uh, like share the videos and subscribe to the channel until next time guys be safe and enjoy life bye